Joey Hollywood and today I'm reviewing Elvis, also known as Elvis the Movie. It is one of three films John Carpenter directed in 1979. It also marks the first time John Carpenter and Kurt Russell worked together. Now this is a TV movie from the late 70s and unlike John Carpenter's previous movie Someone's Watching Me, this actually feels like a TV movie. I don't want you to think that I'm putting the movie down. I'm just saying the tone, the style, the music, it all sounds like a movie from, uh, a TV movie from the 70s. Now what really makes this movie work in my opinion is Kurt Russell. He's got the mannerisms of Elvis down. He captured what I imagine when I think of Elvis. Now this may be due to the fact that Kurt Russell was actually in a movie with Elvis at one time. That movie was, it happened at the World Fair. Now I'm not the only one that thinks that Kurt Russell did a great job with this. He was nominated for an Emmy, if that will tell you anything, and this was a great movie. The only issue I really had with it was the fact that it was almost three hours long. I got a short attention span, I got ADD, I don't, I, I, sometimes I just can't sit in one spot for three hours. I watched this movie in two sittings is what I had to do. You may be different, but I recommend this movie. Not just if you're a John Carpenter fan. If you are a John Carpenter fan, if you are a Kurt Russell fan, if you are an Elvis fan, I think it's mandatory that you see this movie. It is very, very good. And every time John Carpenter and Kurt Russell get together, they make magic. Well, most of the time. Escape from L.A. was kind of on the dumb side, but I still enjoyed it. I really liked how they showed a lot of sides to Elvis. I, I know this is a movie and you can't take everything seriously because, you know, they may have just added more drama. But I really liked how they, they showed more than just the public image. I, I don't know if everything was true in the movie because I, I tend not to take movies about famous people seriously because they, they tend to just add drama for viewership. But I liked, I liked that they did a lot of stuff about Elvis and his early life and his relationship with his mom, his relationship with his wife. I really enjoyed that. And, you know, it just after watching the movie, I just wanted to go listen to some Elvis records. One funny thing, just one personal funny thing about the movie, um, after I was done watching it, for some reason I had this urge to watch Bubba Hotep. I don't know why, I just felt like, like, for, like subconsciously I just felt like it was a sequel to this movie. And just in case you don't know what Bubba Hotep is, it is a movie about Elvis Presley in an old folks home teaming up with a black guy who thinks he's JFK fighting a mummy. So there's no way on earth that Bubba Hotep is a sequel to Elvis, but for some reason subconsciously I was like, you know, I, I, I feel like I have to watch Bubba Hotep now. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this movie. There was a lot, a lot of great performances from not just Kurt Russell. I mean, like, about 90% of the cast was great. Um, it didn't have that real Carpenter feel to it, but, you know, it, it wasn't a sci-fi film. It wasn't a horror film. It was, it was a historical documentary. And I feel like John Carpenter did a great job. I feel that it was a great start to Carpenter and Kurt Russell's career. And this movie just shows that there was greater things to come. And I enjoyed it, and it is actually one of the few movies I do not own. I actually I own almost every single movie, but this is one that I, I don't own. And now that I've seen it, I'm going to go out and buy it as soon as possible, because it is, it is that good. Well, that was my review of Elvis. If you like this review, please rate, comment, subscribe, share. I have more reviews on my channel. I'm also doing a line of John Carpenter reviews, so you can check those out as well. Well, I'm Joey Hollywood, signing off. Here are the Bruce Campbell facts and quotes of the day. Bye.